Well, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to X4 with the Star Wars mod. So, we're going to be looking at a ship that just came in with the patch for the ship review today. I felt it was fitting. Uh, there's several ships. We're going to do a brief overview of one. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. But the main ship of the day is the Harrower. So, we're going to put it through paces. We're going to try to get her killed like we always try to do. Um, and, yeah, we're going to compare it with the other ships that are, exist out there and see where she lines up. So let's go ahead and hop into it. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I want to unveil. One of the ships in the new update. Uh, I think this is going to be a great boarding craft because it can actually carry quite a, quite a nice amount of marines. But the other thing is, too, is it's small. So... Yeah, we've got 10 of these on the Harrower that we're going to go look at. But let's take a look at this real quick. So yeah, the interior is awesome. I actually don't know what uh, this ship is from. Because like, I get vibes from so many other things. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. Alright, I'm going to take over here. Thank you. So, the only problem I have really is the, the limited view. So I wish I could have the field of view a little closer. But other than that, though, it's, like, it's pretty good flown a little bit already and it's been fun to play alright so we're looking for our hair I don't see him yet on the radar it's cause he's right over here alright so here we are ladies and gentlemen we're coming up on our hair I'm gonna go ahead and give it orders to move So yeah, if you guys aren't familiar with this ship at all, uh, let's put it right about there. Let's do this quickly. Alright, so uh, I bought mine from the Order. I think you can pick them up from the Empire. We're actually going to take a look here in a second. But uh, if we're going to buy a ship, so we're going to get a small. Uh, right here. The TIE ES Assault Shuttle. So like, she's pretty interesting, and we're going to do a full in-depth review of her uh, with the rest of the patch on Thursday. So if you guys are looking forward to it. Alright. We're going to go ahead and hop up. How can I help? And proceed with current orders. There you go. So as we're coming into dock, let's go ahead and take a look at our Harrower. Alright, so the Harrower. I really love this model. Because she's got a lot of 3D elements, as you guys can see along the hole. No straight surfaces, no smooth surfaces. She's got lots of greebles all over her. Which the ISD2 just came out with its update as well. And we're also going to look at that on Thursday. But yeah, this ship's pretty menacing. I love her engine cowlings. Uh, and if you guys don't know what this ship is from, it's actually from Star Wars The Old Republic. The Old Republic, the, uh, the MMO. So yeah, used to seeing this ship everywhere. But man, it looks glorious in this game. So as you can see, we've got uh, two hangers in the front that can hold two. And then we've got two in the, uh, on the sides. They can each hold two. And then we've got one that can hold two in the bottom, right back there in the back. So yeah, 10 landing uh, pads. Not a whole lot, but hey, let's go ahead and look at her stats. All right, so you can only get the Harrower uh, from Imperial Shipyard here. I think you can also pick it up from the CSD. Uh, let's see here. So this is the loadout that I'm running. Error. So I've already got it pre-built. So let's go over real quick what she's got going for her. So let's look at the stats real quick. We got 1.8 million hull, 2.3 million shields with a recharge rate of uh, 4,400. 4, uh, well, the average group shields for the uh, turrets and stuff is actually a little bit on the lacking side. So she probably is going to have some tough time with fighters. I have a feeling her module is going to get uh, destroyed pretty quickly. Uh, speed 115, a little faster than ISDs, but still pretty slow. Uh, Y'all pitch roll. That's looking pretty promising. But let's go ahead and look, see what she's got going. So, heavy quad, 900 generators. So that's where we got the 2.3. But let's look at the turrets. So, we've got a light missile launcher. Does that mean, yep, light concussion missile launchers. So, I've already got that set to attack fighters, in case you guys want to do the same. Uh, let's see. So, we've got laser cannons. Groups of six, 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 six. Oh, no, that one's a group of eight. Another group of eight. 
So yeah, so with these SL1s, that's going to be your anti-fighter defense. That's like your point defense, basically. So plenty of those. What else are we running? So, um, yes, D6 dual turbo lasers, and you can see their batteries on the main hull. So that looks pretty menacing, especially when you look at the bottom two. It's like broadsiding, forward. You've got firepower in all directions. And I'm pretty sure that's for the rest of all these. Yep, sure is. So, yep, let's look at crew. So, total crew, 260 right here. Uh, I got to set for 180 and 78 Marines. But yeah, so there's the full loadout of the hair art. Let's give a nice little look through and see how she compares up to her other Star Destroyers. So if we go to X or large here, and we're going to grab our hair art with our hair art preset. Confirm. And we're also going to look at the ISD2 with the ISD2 preset. All right, confirm. So let's go ahead and add something else to the mix. Uh, let's go with an MC80L. All right. So, if we're looking at the overall stats, shield-wise, she's not the strongest. Uh, Hull-wise, she's stronger than the MC-80, but still less than ISD-2. Average group shields, wow. I mean, half of the ISD-2. So, like I said, a little bit in the lackluster side there. And the recharge rate for those tiny shields, 347. Not the best. Firepower, though. She puts out more firepower than the MC-80, only slightly. Uh, but still doesn't come close to the ISD-2. Thanks, still Godzilla. Yeah, container storage, quite nice for the hair compared to the Liberty. Uh, doesn't have any M docks. And like I said, number of small docks, 10. Compared to the 12 on the ISD-2 and the 4 on the Liberty. But 50 ship capacity, so she's right up there. Crew, right around the same as the MC-80. So yeah, pretty decent ship all around. Doesn't have the best maneuverability, but then again, doesn't have the worst. Not the best speeds, but not the worst either. So, yeah, looking forward to test her out. So, let's go ahead and I'm going to try to find a fight and put her through her paces. So, all right, here we are. And I have a Rebel Fleet ahead of me. So, uh, this is a standard Rebel Fleet, pretty much. Two Dreadnoughts, a MC-80, and a Nebulon B with plenty of assault uh, ships as well. Well, not really assault ships. They've got uh, three CR-90s and... I can't get it to turn up. There we go. So the problem is that we're already taking fire from the NC-80. It's going to be hard for us to get there. But all our ties are launching. We need to get these dreadnoughts first, but I believe the MC-80 is going to be the first one on our list. Yep. Okay, so like I said, TIE Fighters are trying to launch. we still got shuttles having problems on our uh, port side. And we're taking a shelling. And I think it's the bottom hangar that's causing issues. Because as you guys can see, there's a fighter that's just stuck down there. I think that's what's causing the issues. Alright, so our guns are starting to open up. We've already lost some shields, but then again, that Liberty's already lost some whole things to our bombers. Now we're going to back up just a hair. Let our cannons do all the work here. Looks like we're winning on the fighter front, which is good. It's hard to win against Rebels when they got X-Wings, A-Wings, and B-Wings. Alright, so... Looks like we still want to focus all our attention on that MC-80. And it looks like we're getting bombed. Haven't heard any missiles launched yet. That's why we haven't popped any countermeasures just yet, but... Point defense is going off. So we're winning against that MC-80 quite handily. Still got plenty of shields. I'll probably focus on that uh, Nebulon B. We're just worried about stuff getting behind us. We want to keep everything forward. 
Because they get the engines and we're going to be dead in the water. MC-80 is dead, so like I said, everything should be focusing over the Navy on base. It's looking pretty good so far. Alright, so it looks like it would probably be a Dreadnought that's coming next. If you guys are wondering about uh, the fighter composition, uh, we have 20 TIE Vanguards, 10 Interceptors, 10 Defenders, uh, 10 Bombers, and 10 of the uh, TIE Bombers. Man, this thing does not want to roll. I don't know if it's because of we've got TIEs underneath us that are causing issue, or it's the debris, I, I don't know. But she's not feeling very maneuverable right now. We got a dreadnought right below us that we want to hit. Let's see if we can't try to go down. Yeah, she didn't want to roll. And we're almost there. And we've got tied bombers and shuttles stuck on the front of our uh, ship here. Alright, that dreadnought sound. So now it's just the escorts and the fighters. So, yeah, able to take on that fleet quite handily. Like I said, it's just the fighters and stuff that are left. So yeah, first look at the Harrower. After killing that fleet, I don't know if we're ever going to be able to kill her. I don't think I'm going to be able to find a fleet tough enough just to take on this one ship. Because as long as she's got the fighter support, I think that she's doing pretty good. Like I said, the, the real trick, and this is going to be the problem too, if you have a lot of these for AI, they're going to fly in, they're going to lose their engines, and then they're just going to be sitting ducks. Because they are only close range. Like, they're not... They're not very long range. From what it seems like to me, uh, the gun's range is only about 7 kilometers. And that's not really a whole lot when you're talking about in the XL class. So you're going to have to get her in close. But if she's a sitting duck, what's going to happen is they're going to just use their longer range guns and just keep you at range. And while you're just sitting there, you're completely defenseless. So, yeah. So far, I'm really enjoying the hair. Hope you guys are too. Uh, if you're new here, Go ahead and like, subscribe down below if you wouldn't mind. But, uh, yeah. If you guys want to see something else or something new, comment down below. And if you haven't yet, join the Discord. And like I said, this Thursday, we're going to be giving a full review of the rest of the patch. And I can't wait to look at it. But the overall review of the Harrower, I am impressed. Very good ship. Very good model. Custom bridge. Good fighter uh, hangar bays. Yeah. It's all right. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Laters.